It's spring, and that means seasonal allergies are in the air. And while pollen is making people sneeze outside, did you know that the air quality inside your home can be up to five times worse? My next guests have indoor allergies that are so bad, they think their house is making them sick. I asked allergist Dr. Clifford Bassett to investigate, and you'll be shocked by what he found. My name is Maria. My family and I have lived in this house for 25 years. Recently, we just feel like there are things that may be causing us to get sick. I know for myself I get congested. My daughter Allison, she goes to college, but when she comes home, all of a sudden she's congested again. My son Brian, he can get congested. Right now he's actually on an antibiotic because the congestion went into his chest. If our house, in fact, is making us sick, we need to solve this problem. Hello, Maria. Yes. I'm Dr. Bassett, the allergist. Hi. Nice Dr. To meet Oz you. sent me. Oh, look who we have here. Oh, yes. We have our pal Odie. He's our family pet, our Shih Tzu. Hello. It's my daughter Allison. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My son Brian. Hi, Brian. Dr. Bassett. Anyone in the house allergic to pets? You know, we don't know for sure. I see you have some upholstered couches here. I see you have some throw pillows. Do you have a vacuum cleaner? We do have a vacuum cleaner. We'll take cleaner. some samples. We'll look okay. at dust mites. We'll look at the pet and other things indoors right here in your living room. I have never vacuumed my couch before. I see we have a good sample of dust here to analyze. We have central air. So is this a problem? I'm going to take a step right up there and take a look. Let's take a look at the filter in your home ventilation system. See, you have quite a bit of uh, debris and dust there. This is my room. So you have a variety of things happening here. So you have asthma? Yeah. Are you using any kind of allergy protective bedding? I just have a mattress pad, but I don't think okay. it's an allergy one. This is our room. Odie sleeps with us. He sleeps with us every night. My biggest concern is the dog. The pet dander and the dog toy. That all toy. seems to be in the same place in your yes. breathable space, which yes. is where you spend one third of your day in the bedroom. This is our disastrous basement. We got flooded. It started about three weeks ago. Wow, that is such a powerful mildew smell. I would like you to put this on for your protection. You've got a couple inches of water here. Uh, we do. It keeps moving. And I see it. You have a nice amount of mold already growing. On, directly on the wood, which I'm concerned about coming into your breathable space. This is really quite uh, dramatic and uh, really troubling. Maria, Allison, and Brian Kish join me along with Dr. Bassett. So, Dr. Bassett, what were the most alarming findings? I mean, I saw quite a bit in there, but what are the things that you saw that surprised you the most? Well, due a natural disaster, they had flooding in their basement. A lot of water, standing water. I was really concerned about mildew growing, <laughs> which I saw visibly. House dust, again. We all have houses, we all have dust. And finally, our favorite friend, Fido, and their dog, Dander, was available to see. So, Dr. Bassett, I'd love to know now, announce to everybody, is the Kiss family truly allergic to their home? The answer is that they are allergic to their home, mm -hmm. and some of the parts in the home, we'll talk about the testing right now. The family had an allergy test, which is done, a skin prick test, and we found everybody tremendously sensitive to house dust mites, the right. active ingredient in house dust. Guys, that's so, number one, dog dander. Dog dander, definitely. Dogs available in the house, it's in the breathable space. Dog dander test, positive. Humidity. Definitely in the high category, mold, over 50%. And mold, we saw a little bit in that wall, but I'm just curious, do they have a problem with mold? Are they, are they allergic to the mold? Is it that much in their house? The mold test is positive, and the bottom line is, as mildew increases and humidity level goes over 50%, the dust mites will have a field day, and it also activates molds, another source of indoor allergies and their symptoms. So, Maria, you have been in that house for 25 years. Yes. Actually, it uh, was my grandparents' house. Oh, so, so it's been your family yes. for generations. It then. has been in our family since. So it was built in 1964. Um, and these, are, these results are shocking to me. They're I mean, awful. I saw your son taking antibiotics. They're awful. They're awful. I mean, my daughter's been in ER. Um, you, you know, really? with, with respiratory conditions. Um, oh, Allison, I mean, you, you got, you got the worst symptoms of all. Yeah, yeah. I've ended up in the ER twice and had pneumonia and respiratory distress. And so, what do you think about these findings? It's scary that it could be my ha that it is my house making me sick. Are you angry about it? 
I'm not happy because I don't, you know, I don't think of myself as having a dirty house. Yeah. You know, um, I mean, the basement is a problem. Mm. The basement is definitely a problem. But I don't think that I'm this messy, messy person who, who doesn't take care of things. Um, but the, but the, the reason we send an allergist to your house mm -hmm. is I think there are people all over America who have houses just like yours, and they mm -hmm. think they're fine, and their kids are sniffling their way through life, and they often are suffering as well. And the good news mm -hmm. in all this is that now you can actually make a change because you understand yes. what's happening. Right, so when we come back, uh, Dr. Bassett and I are going to show you cheap and easy ways to make your home free uh, of both allergies but also all the other things that are bothering you and making you sick. Plus, I'm going to share some surprising news about the Kiss family home that even you don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> That's why it's important to do a comprehensive home environmental assault to get the job done. So here's the deal, Maria. I'm still a little concerned. So, as mm -hmm. a present to you for letting us invade your privacy, uh, we're going to make that process a lot easier for you. Uh, there's a wonderful mold removal company. Uh, they're called Indoor Restore, and they've offered to remove the water any that's left, as well as the mold oh, from your goodness. basement. So they're coming to visit your home oh, in, your, in the near top future. I hope that's helpful. Yeah. Maria, Brian and Allison, thank you for sharing your story. And thanks to Dr. Bassett for your wonderful expertise. I appreciate it. To find out if you suffer from home allergies, go to DrRaz.com and download our quiz. We'll be right back.